Okay, I just wanted to do a quick review on this Aqua Mini Sennelier um, watercolor box. Um, this is sold locally in my art store, um, but you can get it on Amazon as well. Uh, these are French watercolors. This box of eight. Um, a lot of people will edit these. I kind of did as well. I just put a little piece of plastic in here to help mix. Um, this I got from like a plastic card holder. Um, I also have the bottom of the plastic card holder which is all white but it's more flexible and it's on the bottom of this. This is pretty high up and I wanted to make space because I'll put probably put um, like a napkin or something in here on top um, just so I don't have to worry about having a napkin on me and I'll just place that on top of this and this will keep anything from leaking so it does come with a little brush and everyone says that you know they don't see the purpose in using this brush and I, I do get it um, the bristles are very very small they I compared them to this brush to Windsor Newton little brush and I haven't used it yet, but the bristles are sharper on this, but with the Windsor Newton brush extended, it's about like this much larger. So it does fit in here, but that, this brush might even be a little bit better, but they're both not that great. Um, I was hoping this travel brush, or any travel brush I had, I have another one like this, would fit, but they don't fit. So I was going to move these paints into another container. But the whole point of this palette was to have in this container, no matter what, because I can always get in, you know, bigger, bigger um, paint palette. And I have bigger ones already, so that would just defeat the purpose. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to use that brush. I'm going to use this brush and <clears throat> do some swatches. And I'm also going to save a little bit to put in my tin for reference of how it dries and never mind the other paints I think what I'm going to do is I'm really not going to I'm going to try to use this as a mixing board it has a very smooth surface here and a not so smooth surface here and I, I like both um, so I'm trying to think of how I would want this placed in here maybe like that so anyway we'll just try it like this we'll try it on the rough surface and I lie on try on smooth surface, okay. So most people will mix on this palette and I thought that's cool because it has people don't like that this is different ridges, but I like that because you can mix a little bit here, a little bit on the side. And when it's watercolor, you don't really need a lot of pigment. These are professional pigments, so you shouldn't need too much. Um I got a dust in mine but it's all good all right <clears throat> I'm not really gonna compare these because I just feel like the swatches I have in this book aren't really like swatch good swatches so oops I'm gonna actually replace this with water Okay, this brush holds a lot of water. This is like a squirrel representation and I've only had one scroll brush a long time ago and I don't know what happened to it. I did not bring it with me to the state. Even though I somehow managed to bring a Cotman brush with me to the state. Probably just because it was a large brush. Um, anyway. I do like that this feels like squirrel hair on it. is new so these paints um, 
are gonna be pretty stuck. I mean, pretty loose. But it won't take long at all after a few uses, they'll be good to go. Oh. Okay, this probably won't do good. I'll have to use another one. It looks like this, these lines aren't. These lines are water soluble, so I want to do a better version. Let me. swatch and just to make these alive now they say these selenier uh, selenier selenier um, paints or honey base so you don't have to do much to make them alive but um, I just feel like I had to work a little bit at it I notice that even when I paint outside, um, a lot of people think, you know, like plain air, you won't do a lot of layers. So a lot of people are getting into gouache, but I realize like when I'm out there, I, I do paint in layers <laughs> rather than where I have time to think. It's just better to paint quick, let it dry, paint quick, let it dry and go over. <clears throat> but I also take about when I talk about that kind of painting, I usually will sit down for about 30 minutes to an hour. Sometimes even more, so I'd say 30 minutes to two hours. But, quick sketches, I have a Da Vinci box I got recently and I've been using that a lot. And, um, the box is not as good as my Winsor Newton box, but the colors I like, and I realize it's because I didn't have any greens in my um, Winsor Newton box anymore. I don't know what happened. I think I just, oh, I know what happened. Actually, I refilled two green paint pads. I gave one away, or I filled a few, and then I just like put a different paint pad in my box and dedicated to something else and the whole reason I had that filled box was for to go out and about and I stopped so the purpose of what I got it for went away just realized that I should put a green pan in there um, <clears throat> yeah and I think I put blues in there I forgot why I did that anyway that was a long time ago I decorated this up I like the way my, these feel just like my curry toffee paints. So I like the way they feel um, because of that. Very similar to the curry toffee. I don't think I have the gam Gamby, Gambit, whatever curry toffee. I think they're just regular. It's a really old set. Um, but. It looks the same. Transparency looks the same as well. And that's the only one that they say it's opaque. That's why I don't think I have the same because the Kuritaki one I have it seems very transparent, but I don't do a lot of like I wonder what where it starts to get opaque, maybe after like, you know, three, four, or five layers, like and I only I like to paint in two to three layers, you know, um, really just because after that time, a lot of paint mixes I have just become pretty dull and I don't mind muted. I like muted looks, but you know, after a while, just like it looks 
it looks at all. It looks looks like it doesn't look good. So anyway, I can't look. It's like there's like a little white dot in there. So some kind of chemical process heavier on that section. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just trying to fill that out. Anyway, um, this blue seems pretty. Okay, it's good to move around. Still good to move around. I like that. So it seems like it's pretty workable. I'm actually struggling because I'm trying to avoid that fucking line. There it goes. <clears throat> it's not water soluble and that stuff. But it's all good. I'm just using a little paper anyway. Tons of watercolor paper. Like actually, this is like scratch paper. I could have used this, but eh. it's okay. Um, if I was really needed to compare this with others, um, I would definitely use a bigger swatch, but I just really want to see how the colors dry. And then, um, you know, I'll just get used to how the others look, I think. Or how they look, usually. But I do like the size of this little paint. Paint tin. The uh, colors do feel pretty sticky though, almost like it's hard to pick up on my brush. This is, you know, like a, this is the Neptune, so I know it's real soft, but for Honey Base, I thought that I could use soft brush. I mean, it's great once I pick it up. It's just, I feel like I struggle the same way with Cotman's as I do with this or Winsor Newton too. I use Winsor Newton tubes, but I do have like a couple of Cotman pens some colors I really like and um, they're they're amazing and I can't really tell the difference mm, kind of but anyway um, this green looks badass whoops that green <clears throat> this card is so small to swatch that I'm like um, struggling to remove the pigment Make an accurate looking swatch. This small. They're not drawing that great, but that's really because of the paper. Like I said, I'm just trying to get the color on paper to see what it looks like when it's dry. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of greens much, but they're very much needed. So these, this green, I actually like it. And both the greens are actually like. Cool. There are Escoda Red Tra Travel Brush Set, and uh, I think it's pretty expensive. I wouldn't be surprised if it's anywhere from like 60 to 120 dollars, but it's for three brushes. It's a red brush set. I'm gonna look it up later, but I haven't even looked it up at all. Just saw some people using it, and uh, it looks so cool. Um, it looked like a really good brush, too. Like seeing it work, it's like, oh my gosh. Um, but that seems like a really cool set, and it's red. They have all different colors, and each one is different, and the red one I like. The red one looks like the coolest one, and I'm like, ah, oh, and it's also my favorite color. That's what's making me drawn to it. And, um, yeah. This brown I'm not a big fan of, but this does, this is a good brown for, um, the brown here in Portland, the, uh, the ground I can use this as that so it's all good I really like the way the <clears throat> these earth colors are drying so cool the others just I don't know I feel like maybe I press this too hard my finger oils they didn't dry that great but I mean 
It's granulated pretty nicely. I, I like that it's granulated. I thought it was smooth, but to me it it looks just like a little bit of both. It looks just like my Kuretake. I think I have that on here. I'll swatch that in a sec. Is this black? That's cool. It's like a black, but it paints gray. I don't know. <clears throat> I didn't even look at the box. I'll look in the back in a little bit. Let me see. Ooh. Man. Looks black. But I also don't have my light on. The reason I have my light on is because it just made everything look really shiny in the video. So I'm just going to see how this looks. See if I can try to edit it. And uh, if it's not bright, then I failed at the editing part. But these are the colors. And they look really nice. They're vivid and one layer so the red looks uh, looks fairly transparent with light wash fairly opaque a few of them um they were to be painted dry but i like it i don't plan to do too much customization like i said on this is my keep it simple this is actually i just plan to have this in the pocket any other set I have, like um, <clears throat> this this set that has brushes in it, this is definitely something I take with me um, when I'm gonna be by myself for a while, so I can just have peace and not worry about my brushes falling or causing a distraction. It's, um, mostly, this is a set to use when I just want to paint really fast and I don't want to take anything out, so I just have that out now to use a lot. This will be just my daily carry, um, and yeah, I have a lot of other brushes and stuff like that, like here, these travel brushes, but ideally I don't want an excuse, I usually carry a color pencil with me, a watercolor pencil and a brush, a water brush, but um, like, I just struggle with the water brush, I've been good at using the water brush, but I hate that like, the water brush is such a challenging thing to use when I, you like using a regular brush because then I'll wet the brush, then dry it, then use a little bit of mouth, then dry it, wet it. It's a technique, but I realized that watercolor pencils or a small water box with a good brush and a cup of water is like all you need. So just, the, so just that and this is it. Um, so... I'm gonna keep this in my pocket for a while with this and get rid of my. Maybe I'll stop carrying what I usually carry lately, which is. I usually change the water brush, but I'm grabbing what's in my, my DIY. Uh, DIY. My daily carry box. I carry these in my pockets all at all times, um, which is a crayon. Or a watercolor pencil, a pencil. This is I've been using. I've had this a long time ago. Gave one away. I got another one. Um, the one I gave away was 0.7. This is 0.5. So um, I'm gonna not probably carry this so much because it keeps leaking. My petite and a water brush. These are both water brushes. I've been carrying this, so I'm gonna ditch all of these. And, or maybe just carry a pencil, my brush. So that's it. And I, I always carry a, uh, a cup with me, so that won't be hard to, uh, to have. But the water brush with this just will be more of a struggle for me. 
um, which is why I am I got a really good brush so hopefully these break in a little bit better they were like caught mints to be honest working that in um, but to be fair unlike the caught mints they did not dry pal and they they dry nice like, look at that like I'm gonna be honest caught mints are like dry like that but not on cheap paper like this is cheap paper and that's how they dry so they they look like they'd be um, extremely vivid after just a couple of glazes or layers so i'm just rambling but um thanks for watching take care